Burt Bacharach, visionary pop composer, has died at 94. American popular music has lost a giant. According to his publicist, Burt Bacharach died Wednesday due to natural causes at his Los Angeles home with family at his side. He was 94. Bacharach composed an astonishing number of hit songs over the decades. Say a little prayer. Walk on by. What the world needs now. Raindrops keep falling on my head. That's just a handful of his music, and he won Grammys, Emmys, and Oscars. Burt Bacharach's melodies are seared in the memories of generations of listeners. Call it orchestrated pop. Burt Bacharach composed and arranged so many hits, often adding horns and strings to create a signature sound. In the 1960s, Bacharach and his musical partner, lyricist Hal David, worked out of New York's famed Brill Building. Their star vehicle was Dionne Warwick. Bacharach wrote music that was accessible. It even sounds simple. But as Dionne Warwick and other musicians have pointed out, there's nothing simple about them. Bacharach's pop songs were unconventional for the 1960s in their structure, key changes, and time signatures. Take the song Anyone Who Had a Heart. It was Warwick who pointed out to Bacharach the song constantly changes time signature. Bacharach was a classically trained musician who absorbed everything. He grew up in Queens, New York. His father was a columnist. His mother was a musician. She insisted her son practice cello, drums, and piano. As a teenager, the young Bacharach snuck into jazz clubs to see Dizzy Gillespie and Count Basie. Bert Freeman Bacharach was an American composer, songwriter, record producer, and pianist who composed hundreds of pop songs from the late 1950s through the 1980s, many in collaboration with lyricist Hal David. A six-time Grammy Award winner and three-time Academy Award winner, Bacharach's songs have been recorded by more than 1,000 different artists. As of 2014, he had written 73 US and 52 UK Top 40 hits. He was one of the most important composers of 20th century popular music. His music is characterized by unusual chord progressions, influenced by his background in jazz harmony and uncommon selections of instruments for small orchestras. Most of Bacharach's and David's hits were written specifically for and performed by Dionne Warwick, but earlier associations from 1957 to 1963 saw the composing duo work with Marty Robbins, Perry Como, Gene McDaniels, and Jerry Butler. Following the initial success of these collaborations, Bacharach went on to write hits for Gene Pitney, Cilla Black, Dusty Springfield, Jackie DeShannon, Bobby Gentry, Tom Jones, Herb Alpert, B.J. Thomas, and The Carpenters, among numerous other artists. He arranged, conducted, and produced much of his recorded output. Songs that he co-wrote which have topped the Billboard Hot 100 include This Guy's In Love With You 1968 Raindrops Keep Falling On My Head 1969 They Long To Be Close To You 1970 Arthur's Theme Best That You Can Do 1981 and That's What Friends Are For 1986 A significant figure in easy listening music, Bacharach is described by writer William Farina as a composer whose venerable name can be linked with just about every other prominent musical artist of his era. In later years, his songs were newly appropriated for the soundtracks of major feature films, by which time, tributes, compilations, and revivals were to be found everywhere. He influenced later musical movements such as Chamber Pop and Shibuya Kai. In 2015, Rolling Stone ranked Bacharach and David at number 32, for their list of the 100 greatest songwriters of all time. In 2012, the duo received the Library of Congress Greshwin Prize for Popular Song, the first time the honor has been given to a songwriting team. Early Life and Education Bacharach was born in Kansas City, Missouri and grew up in the Kew Gardens section of New York City, graduating from Forest Hill High School in 1946. He was the son of Irma M. Nay Freeman and Mark Bertram Bert Bacharach, a well-known syndicated newspaper columnist. 
His mother was an amateur painter and songwriter who was responsible for making Bacharach learn piano during his childhood. His family was Jewish, but he says that they did not practice or give much attention to their religion. But the kids I knew were Catholic, he adds. I was Jewish, but I didn't want anybody to know about it. Bacharach showed a keen interest in jazz as a teenager, disliking his classical piano lessons, and often used a fake ID to gain admission into 52nd Street nightclubs. He got to hear bebop musicians such as Dizzy Gillespie and Count Basie, whose style would later influence his songwriting. Bacharach studied music, Bachelor of Music 1948, at Montreal's McGill University under Helmut Bloom at the Mann School of Music and at the Music Academy of the West in Montecito, California. During this period, he studied a range of music, including jazz harmony, which became important to his songs, which are generally considered pop music. His composition teachers included Darius Milhaud, Henry Cowell, and Boslav Martinu. Bacharach cites Milhaud as his biggest influence, under whose guidance he wrote a sonatine for violin, oboe, and piano, beginning work as a musician. Bacharach was drafted into the United States Army in 1950 and served two years. He was stationed in Germany and played piano in officers' clubs there and at Fort Dix and Governor's Island. During this time, he arranged and played music for dance bands. Bacharach met the popular singer Vic Damone while they were both serving in the army in Germany. Following his discharge, Bacharach spent the next three years as a pianist and conductor for Damone. Damone recalls, Bert was clearly bound to go out on his own. He was an exceptionally talented, classically trained pianist with very clear ideas on the musicality of songs, how they should be played, and how they should sound like. I appreciated his musical gifts. He later worked in a similar capacity for various other singers, including Polly Bergen, Steve Lawrence, the Ames brothers, and Paula Stewart, who became his first wife. When he was unable to find better jobs, Bacharach worked at resorts in the Catskill Mountains of New York, where he accompanied singers such as Joel Gray. Songwriting career, 1950s and 1960s. In 1957, Bacharach and lyricist Hal David met while at the Brim Building in New York City and began the writing partnership. They received a career breakthrough when their song The Story of My Life was recorded by Marty Robbins, becoming a number one hit on the US country chart in 1957. Soon afterwards, Magic Moments was recorded by Perry Como for RCA Records and reached number four in the US. These two songs were back-to-back -back number one singles in the UK. The British chart topping The Story of My Life version was sung by Michael Holliday, giving Bacharach and David the honor of being the first songwriters to have written consecutive number one UK singles. Despite Bacharach's early success with Hal David, he spent several years in the early 1960s writing songs with other lyricists, primarily Bob Hillard, some of the more successful Bacharach Hillard songs include Please Stay, The Drifters, 1961, Tower of Strength, Gene McDaniels, 1961, Any Day Now, My Wild Beautiful Bird, Chuck Jackson, 1962, and Mexican Divorce, The Drifters, 1962. In 1961, Bacharach was credited as the arranger and producer for the first time on both label and sleeve for the song Three Wheels on My Wagon written jointly with Hillard for Dick Van Dyke. Bacharach and David formed a writing partnership in 1963. Bacharach's career received a boost when singer Jerry Butler asked to record Make It Easy on Yourself and wanted him to direct the recording sessions. It became the first time Bacharach managed the entire recording process for one of his own songs. In the early and mid-1960s, Bacharach wrote well over a hundred songs with David. In 1961, Bacharach discovered singer Dionne Warwick while she was a session accompanist. That year, the two, along with Dionne's sister Dee Dee Warwick, released the single Move It on the Backseat under the name Bert and the Backbeats. The lyrics for this Bacharach composition were provided by Hal David's brother, Mac David. Dion made her professional recording debut the following year with her first hit, Don't Make Me Over. 
Bacharach and David then wrote more songs to make use of Warwick's singing talents, which led to one of the most successful teams in popular music history. Over the next 20 years, Warwick's recordings of his songs sold over 12 million copies with 38 singles making the charts and 22 in the top 40. Among the hits were Walk On By, Anyone Who Had A Heart, Alfie, I Say A Little Prayer, I'll Never Fall In Love Again, and Do You Know The Way To San Jose. She would eventually have more hits during her career than any other female vocalist except Aretha Franklin. Burt Bacharach, visionary pop composer, last words before he died. Time that withers you will wither me. We will fall like ripe fruit and roll down the grass together. Dear friend, let me lie beside you watching the clouds until the earth covers us and we're gone.